Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, Nikon Rumours have updated their website with information that they've received via email from several sources. Um, so these are the specifications that they're putting up and the um, CMOS sensor being somewhere between 45 to 46 megapixels. I'm fairly confident or fairly sure that I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that. I think more than 50 megapixels just to up the game from Canon. But we'll just have to wait and see. I put a video up saying it was going to be a lot more because I was unsure about how they were going to achieve the 4K um, full frame with no crop that they've that they've put down here. Although saying that, this is all still speculative and all rumours. Um, there's another interesting thing that they've put up here on Nikon Rumours that he's received from a couple of different sources um, down here. About if you look down here um, from the uh, sensor, they're saying that the sensor is not going to be from Sony. Um, so uh, maybe made by Toshiba or by somebody else so um, if you have a look at this website here um, this was a sensor that was um, developed and re you know sort of released out um, latter part of uh, last year so 47 and a half megapixels and this supports 8k so maybe this is the 8K that they were talking about with the, um, uh, you know, sort of stop frame sort of um, affair that's going on. This could be the sensor. So I don't know. Check it out. Have a look at the website. See what you think. Um, but if they're going away from their standard format, then maybe, um, you know, maybe this is not going to be a Sony sensor. I still th I still believe that I think it's going to be more than 50. But hey, um, everyone else seems to be touting around 45 48 uh, megapixels but we'll just have to see so <laughs> go and check out um nikon rumors um they're they're pretty reputable in uh, a lot of the claims that they've made in over the years um and this is a nice update here um no, uh, the one thing they are sort of stating as well is that there's no um, electronic viewfinder which is a huge shame um i think that was going to be a real big push and i'm kind of looking at the features to see what's going to get me to upgrade from the d800 I want to upgrade. Um, is this going to be the camera for me? I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll see if it's got enough features in it to warrant um, the new price tag on this. So, uh, okay, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so go and check out that. Go and check out uh, this this website as well. Have a look around if anybody else has got any information on on other sensors they might think that it may be. Um, then, you know, this is going to be a, a big talking point over the next couple of months. And uh, I'm sure uh, over those couple of months, you know, there's going to be a lot more rumours flying around. So uh, keep your eyes peeled, uh, post something in the comments for us, and um, I hope to see you in the next time. Thanks for watching. Um, my name's uh, RJ. See you again. Bye.